All right, welcome back. We are still working on our shed design. Uh, when we last left off, we had just added a brick external wall. We've got a floor and we've got a roof with asphalt shingles. Uh, I had shown you how to do the realistic view so you could see those different materials. We're going to turn that off in this video uh, so that we're not using up too much of our computer's processing power. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to create a new sort of wall for our shed. We want it to have wooden siding. So what we're going to do, we're going to click on our brick wall. We're going to go over here where it says edit type. From here, you'll get this little menu that pops up with the type properties. Now we don't want to just go in and start editing the structure to create a new wall. We're going to leave our brick wall. We're going to create a new type of wall. So we're going to duplicate this brick wall and we're going to name this one shed wall with siding. Okay, now we're working inside of our new wall type. As of right now, it's just another brick wall. So we're going to go in and edit the structure to change it from a brick wall to a wooden wall with siding. So first things first, just kind of showing you this menu here. If you click the preview button down here, it will bring up this sort of section view. So you can see our wall from like a top down view if it was cut in half. You've got your brick layer. Uh, and if we just follow down from exterior to interior, we've got a thermal air layer. We've got a membrane layer that has a thickness of zero. We've got a substrate layer that's plywood, three quarters of an inch. <clears throat> we've got a core boundary and then uh, metal studs that are six inches. Another core boundary. Uh, that's zero, membrane layer that's zero, and then a finish, number two, that's gypsum. So we have a half inch gypsum wallboard on the inside. So that's the interior. Notice how it kind of follows uh, from interior to exterior. All right, so from here, we're gonna modify this brick material. So to do that, you're just gonna click in the cell where it says brick common, and you're gonna click this little box if you can see. It's hard to see, but it's got three ellipses in there. Any ellipses. Um, from here, it'll open the material browser. So right now it's brick, as you can see. And we wanna to go to the project materials. We're gonna go down to uh, plywood sheathing. So you can filter it a little bit. See, we don't have any siding in here so we're going to just kind of get close so if we click plywood sheathing that's going to get us kind of close from here we should be able to duplicate it okay and to duplicate it you're just going to click down here this little sphere and then you'll click duplicate material and assets which will create a kind of copy of our plywood sheathing we are going to change the name of this under the identity tab we're going to change the name to siding um, uh, horizontal wood we'll change our description to horizontal wood siding okay then from here we can go to the graphics tab under graphics, we're going to change the surface pattern. And this is what's going to show, I believe, in our regular visual style or our hidden line visual style. We want to go down to horizontal, click OK. We'll also update our background surface pattern to the same thing, horizontal. All right, so then from here, we can go over to our appearance tab. And we're going to click this little uh, symbol right here. That's going to take us to the asset browser. And from here, we're going to update our appearance. You want to go under the appearance library. Go down to siding. 
and then scroll down until you get to the bottom. We're going to select wood horizontal cedar. Once you're down here, go over to this little uh, set of arrows. That's going to replace the current asset in the editor with this one. So we'll click that. And then we'll click OK after we close out of this. So you can see it did update our image to actually show that wooden siding. Click OK. All right, so now we should have our siding updated to be our finished material instead of brick. However, it's way too thick. Horizontal wood siding like this is not going to be 3 and 5 eighths inches. So we're going to update this to be, we'll do one half of an inch. So you'll do one backslash two. And then you can see it update in our section view. Next, we're going to take this thermal air layer. We're just going to delete that. So if you've got it selected, you should be able to just click the delete down here. And now it's gone. You can see our section view condensed significantly once we got rid of that air gap and then we'll click OK twice All right now our wall here updated we've got our shed wall with siding we're going to turn this one back to our brick with metal studs and then we'll just change one of the other walls to be our shed wall with siding so I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so I've went in and I selected the exterior brick on metal stud for that one. I'll click on a different wall. Let's change this uh, wall right here to have our siding. And again, when I have this recording software open, it doesn't want to use these drop down menus. So I'm going to pause it real quick and switch it to our shed wall with siding. Okay, I've went in and updated this sidewall to be our new wall style that we created. So let's change our view to shaded so we can kind of see that. And we can see we've got our horizontal pattern. Let's switch it to realistic so we can see if that nice wood pattern shows up. And it looks like it does. Might have to zoom in a little bit to see the details, but. It looks like it's working. So we're going to pause the video or I'm going to stop here for this video. I'll carry on the rest of the shed design in the next video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.